All right, picking up again. Uh, let's make a sketch on that uh, front plane. Let's get normal to it. Oop, sorry, let's make it on the uh, other plane. So let's get out of that. And let's do right plane sketch and let's get normal to that. Um, we'll get my circle tool. Let's come in and make a circle for a fastener. Let's see, let's make that five mil. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's just give it a distance here. Let's make that five. And yeah, we should be fully defined. All right, let's also make a separate sketch. And the reason I'm going to make a separate sketch for this is because I'm going to be cutting using a surface as a, as a uh, starting point. Uh, and separate contours uh, don't, doesn't really like that. So here's a case where you, want to make a, you definitely want to make a separate sketch uh, for it. So again, let's come back to that uh, right plane. Let's start a sketch. And uh, again, for my circle tool, Let's do that, and let's make it um, half the distance there, so 2.5. And let's see, yeah, it should be def fully defined because I think it's using the exact same yeah, circle as that, so it's, we know it's concentric uh, to that. In fact, let's check it. Uh, or it's using a known point. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's all good. So now let's do some cutting uh, with this. Uh, if we take a look back at the other part, you'll notice that uh, it, it comes in uh, just to the uh, inside of, of where the spline is. So let's put on a, um, uh, a section view uh, of it there and say OK. So you can see that it comes down to a short depth here. Uh, and then stops and gives us a little bit of distance. And then I've got another cut that comes in to here, say, where the screw would uh, fit into this thing. Uh, so let's go back to here, and let's make that first cut. So I want to use this sketch to do it, extruded cut. And in my from uh, here, I want to use from a uh, surface face of plane. I'm just going to pick that one. So it starts there, and see now it, it goes down uh, to here. And then for the... So here, I want to do offset from a surface, uh, and then uh, the um, surface plane that I want to use in this case will be the front, uh, sorry, the uh, right plane. Um, and not 10 mil, but let's say, let's see what 2 does. Uh, or is my, my, um, or my cut maybe going the wrong way? Yeah, it is. There we go. Uh, two looks a little bit shallow in there. Also, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Let's maybe 2.5. Oops, sorry. Let's go the other way. And two. Oop. 1.5, because it's offsetting from here, yeah. So it's, the shorter you make it, the closer it's going to get to it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Say OK, let's turn around and take a look at it. Yeah, that all looks all right. Let's do a section view just in case. Yep, looks good. All right. Um, now let's make the cut uh, for the other uh, side. And it needs to go through this part as well. So let's take our inner sketch here, extrude cut. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use a two direction cut uh, to do what I need to do. Uh, so um, you know, from the sketch plane line, let's pull it in into here, what looks like a good distance, maybe 7 mil. Let's see, let's get, oh, you're not snapping, are you? Well, fine, I'll just type you in uh, there. And that actually looks like a bit much. Let's go 6. All right, yeah, that looks good. And then uh, on the other side, uh, for direction 2, uh, there I can just go, um, let's try the next, will that get through what it needs? Yeah, that should be fine. That way if this thing changes, change the depth on it, it'll, it'll stay with it. Let's say okay, make sure that looks all right. Let's take a look at our, 
Yep, looking good there. All right, so the rest of it is uh, just a matter of filleting uh, things. Uh, so uh, to do that, uh, what I want to do is, let's see, fillet everything all on, on this piece and then uh, everything on uh, the other one. Because you have, fillets cannot span separate bodies. Uh, in fact, here, let me show you what happens uh, when you try that. So let's see, let's fill it the inside and outside of that. So we'll click that and let's set my fillet to, say, one mil. Ooh, that's a little bit big. Um, set 0.25 maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and then, let's say, if I tried to, say, fill it that, I'm going to get the little warning that pops up. Edges from multiple bodies cannot be filleted in single fi feature. So we'll do everything on this body. Uh, and then um, let's pick that face and that face. And that looks like it should do it. Yep. And then let's do um, some filleting over here. So let's go pick that edge. Start the fillet. Actually, let's unpick that edge and pick the face. Pick that face, and I don't. I'm not. I don't need to fillet anything on the inside. So this one is all okay. So that's good. Let's check our section view. Yep, looking okay there. Looking okay there. All right. So this thing is is pretty much done in terms of modeling. Uh, but let's take a look at how to uh, get an exploded view uh, of it. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to Configuration Manager, uh, and then here under the default uh, Part 2, I'm going to right-click uh, and say New Exploded View, and that'll bring up the tool for, for Exploded View. So all I need to do now is just grab one of these parts. I'm going to grab this one, and when the little triad uh, pops up there, I'm just going to click and drag and pull this thing out a little bit, get a little bit of separation between them, so that now you should be able to see uh, through those, see that there is, the hole goes um, on into the other part there, and all is well. So uh, once that's done, I can say OK, and yeah, I've got this exploded view uh, that I can take a look at. Um, the uh, way to get it back uh, is to just come over, over here, uh, click the little thing that expands it until you see exploded view 1, and just double click it and that'll pull it back. Please understand that with it open like this, and I come back into here, uh, most of the time you can't do any editing uh, on things, uh, or if I remember correctly, you can't. So if I wanted to say edit those fillets, uh, see, yeah, okay, I guess you can, but it's going to temporarily pull it back uh, in. Uh, so uh, my tendency is to just come back in and uh, let that uh, disable the exploded view for a while and go in and work on things and then come back in and pull it back out when you need it. Um, so yeah, and then save your part and um, we'll be able to uh, take a look at it uh, in class. All right, hope this helps.